right, so in this video, we're going to have a look at all things client portal. We're going to have a look at how you set it up and share things to the client as well as invite them to it. We're going to have a look at what the portal actually looks like for them. And we're going to have a look at notifications you get as the client moves around the portal. In addition, lastly, we'll have a look at how you can then respond back to the client. So into my build exact account. Now the client portal exists in the leads section, but it also exists in the estimate section. So if I go into estimates and I've got an estimate that is connected to a lead, I'll go down and I'll see again that it's connected to a lead. The client portal hence is open and I can invite and preview and rename from here. You can actually do the exact same things in two places. My personal preference, I go back to the lead and do this kind of action, but ultimately it doesn't really matter where you do it from. It's exactly the same. Now the steps to get this set up, step one for me is I kind of prepare it for the client, which means naming it right, sharing items in, making the images all look good. And then step two is the actual invitation. So things that I might like to do would be rename um, Hazel Ann's house, or I might like to add a cover image just so that when they get in there, it's not a map, it's actually an image. And that could be grab one from here. Could be say this one, or it could be a rendering of the house, could be a, anything really. Obviously relevant to the actual project. And I'm also gonna do things like sharing of the uh, particular documents in. So I'm gonna do a couple of these sharings, uh, but again, it's just to get things in there before the client actually arrives. So as far as where sharings occur from, you're essentially looking for all the different green share, screen, uh, share buttons around the place. So you'll see them in documents, you'll see them in estimates, jobs, uh, and I'm gonna point out a couple of the main ones. A little tip if you are to share from documents, when you are uh, loading the document, it's gonna ask, and you can also change it, um, it's gonna ask what the name of the folder is. And the client's gonna see this if I share it into the portal, see the folder name that is. So uh, although I'm a bit kind of OCD about naming folders anyway, uh, this is another reason to name it just because it will be seen by the client. So I'm gonna go that and share. If it's coming from a documents folder, you actually get a choice about where in the client portal it goes. And once we get into it, it'll make a whole bunch more sense where these different kind of buckets or folders exist. But we'll go recipients. Do I wanna include in the timeline? Now the timeline, which again, we'll see shortly, is a part of the client portal where I can provide day by day, week by week updates. And this is saying, as well as putting it into documents, does do you want this to be part of the running kind of event log? Uh, and if you do, add a note. So I'm just gonna say selection of taps. Email, so they'll always get an email notification of any big things that are shared in. We'll go share. Now, a point on anything you share, you're gonna see this message a lot. Uh, once it's shared, it can't be removed. Doesn't matter what it is, big or small. And the point of this is that uh, if the, let's say the job runs for you know, number of months, number of years, and uh, you know, it, it, maybe it turns out to be not the most ideal job in the world and it goes a bit sour, we don't want either party to be able to remove documents for it because it becomes a bit of a historic record. Even if it's a, an amazing job, um, we still think that it's important for both parties to be able to go into it at any point and use it as a bit of a record keeping uh, item. So for that reason, neither yourself nor the client can actually remove things once they're in the portal, but you can absolutely revise and send version two, version three, etc. So I've shared that, I'm gonna to go to the linked estimate in here and just a couple of places you will see share buttons. I'm gonna to go to the quote. There's a share button here, which I will do. 
share using the standard delivery, which I've talked about in other videos, but standard delivery is just, imagine like delivering a parcel, it's just dropped on the doorstep. Digital acceptance means knock on the door and get a signature for it, and someone actually has to approve something. Recipients, I wanna put this in my client portal, absolutely. And it's gonna keep reminding me that I ha haven't actually invited anyone to the portal yet. And it's gonna keep doing this until I actually invite somebody. So I'll share that as well. Again, can't be removed, no problem, I know that. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to the lead and I'm going to invite this client and kind of walk you through what that looks like. So I can customize the inv invitation message and I can add extra people to send this to if there's a, a husband, wife or partners or whoever it be and I haven't yet added those individuals in. So I'm gonna just check that that all looks good for me and I'm gonna go send invitation. And what that then means is I'm gonna hang tight for just a second until the email comes through. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen and show you with the actual uh, flow that the client will go through when they are um, being requested to accept this client portal. All right, so I've just received the email and there's a link in there to go and uh, create the account. So I'm gonna do that right now. It's branded as you, the builder. And the client is just requested to add a password, accept the terms and conditions and sign up. They can also use Google or Facebook if they prefer. Off they go. And this is what the portal then looks like for them. So there's a whole bunch of different sections I'm just gonna talk you through, and then we'll have a look at what notifications look like as the client moves around and how you can reply back and forward. The main parts, if I go back to projects here, we do have it set up in such a way where if the client does repeat work with you, they can actually see multiple projects through this portal. In fact, we go with the idea that the client owns this long-term. But I'm gonna go into this project here and talk you through the different areas we've got. Top to bottom, timeline is, as it sounds, literally just a, a timeline log of events. So I could go today, tomorrow, next week, a couple of weeks after this, and you could have site photos, you could have uh, excavation photos, you could have updates just to keep the client informed. Messages, this is where the client will receive a message for a bunch of different reasons. One would be, they will get something when the document is shared. They'll also get something just as a uh, notification of the quote being shared. I go to quotes. Pretty much quotes, plans, documents, variations, invoices all relate to that relevant type of document. So quotes, I could open up this quote. I can actually accept the quote through here as well. I can message back about the quote. I can download it. Selections, now selections, there's a whole other video just on this, but uh, in short, selections gives the, uh, the client the option to go and choose uh, things that they want to, to select uh, for the build. And they can suggest new selections, they can choose the ones that you've proposed, and it's all done through the client portal. Plans, obvious one, if you're sharing plans in here, this is where they go. Documents, I mentioned that the, the folder name will be visible, so there it is. That's where it uh, will show to the client. Again, variations, uh, that can be shown as well. Invoices, and lucky last, contacts, where this is purely a message option, and there is a way, an option for you to also put a portfolio in, which I haven't actually done yet. So let's say me as the client now, I message the builder, When can we meet on site? Question mark. Submit. Awesome. So if the client sends you something, let's just say they send that, and you go back into your BuildExact account, you're going to get notifications on this via the communications area to say, you've got a conversation, you should have a look. And whether you 
manage them through the conversations tab or you go to the lead is kind of up to you. You will definitely get notified here. So you will be able to go in here. When can we meet on site? Perfect, you can reply to that. If, however, you want to go and see all of them in the thread, that's where you'd go back to this lead, lead 1003. And here, and there's a communication area that shows all of the related messages. Personally, I like this better because I like the option of being able to see all of the threads, pretty much the, the reverse side of what the client's seeing. And also I like the option to be able to create new ones from here where I might create one just on a specific topic if maybe uh, the client needs to uh, make a choice on something or I want to just notify them of a close to the site um, during a holiday period or something like that. You can create messages for anything at all.